Good morning, folks. Hopefully you caught the 90-minute, nine videos in one event yesterday. If not, don't worry, it didn't go anywhere and we'll discuss its importance in a minute. But first, we'll be hitting the sun, the tree of life, and solar climate forcing with a window into mechanistic action at the rapid scales. We are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We're at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun was not so quiet. You may have seen the filaments ripping away in the red view. And here we see the sunspots and the northern coronal hole crossing center disk. The sunspots themselves have undergone considerable morphing over the last two days, leaving us with a moderately sized spot up north and a monster on the south. But neither is flaring because they both have simple magnetic complexity. It's the strong interactions between positive and negative spots that leads to flaring, and they're avoiding each other like the plague right now. They continue morphing this morning, so continued monitoring is called for. Up next, folks, let's go to the Tree of Life on the Internet. Imagine all the taxa, all the species, all in their proper place and all in one location. One of the better visual sights out of late. You can scroll around, click, zoom, even sponsor species on the chart. Thinking about getting the tapeworm for Professor Michael Mann. Up next, anyway, we're confirming the lag mid-range solar forcing of large-scale atmospheric oscillations. Here, once again, it's the North Atlantic. These would be the accumulation measures of energy dumped into the system with the ever-present lag on those major global patterns. Confirmed. Two years lag here, dead center of the previous window of estimation. Now that was slow, lagged solar forcing, and this is not. Folks, in the most recent four-part climate miniseries, an enormous aspect of the most recent science is the rapid, nearly light speed, nearly instantaneous solar forcing of geophysical parameters from pressure to cloud opacity to temperature. And that's because in addition to the top-down energy accumulation mechanism of the major oscillation forcing, this is geomagnetic induction and excitement of the global electric circuit, which we've seen described as forcing on the scale of 10 minutes down to nearly instantaneous reaction. The biological forcing of cardiac events, the triggering of tropical intensifications, the motion of the wind and the ion content emitted from the ground, all worked by a change in the electric current directly passing through them during geomagnetic storms. Folks, the importance of yesterday's video is simple. Yes, it's the critical topic. Yes, it's the biggest voices in the game, pretty much all of them, all in Ben's house. But now, there's no more 100-minute movie and then 26 follow-up videos. No more dozens and dozens of videos in the series playlist. From here, we can all point to one video. And while we'll likely have to do the updates on papers and observational reality all year again this year, we need to get caught up so others can quickly get on the level. That's what this is. One video. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.